Hey there guys, I'm Kyle. And I'm Paul, we're the Quad Bros. And welcome to a learning view. Today, Kyle's gonna be teaching you how to get into the multi-rotor hobby. Okay guys, a lot of the time when we're out at a location shooting, people will come up to us and ask us questions about what we're doing. How high does that thing go? Does it have a camera on it? Is it a drone? What the questions end up going towards are, what is it and how do I get in started really in this whole multi-rotor thing? Um, so what we're gonna be covering in this video today are two main things. One, picking out your first quadcopter, and two, the basics of flying it. So first off, like I said, picking it out. Um, so there's hundreds of toy quadcopters out there and there's so many different features and so many different things, so I'm just gonna give you a few tips. The first one is never spend more than $100 on your first quad. There's no need to, and the odds are this isn't gonna last. So don't spend too much money on it. Um, in front of me, I have three different quads that uh, we own. And in fact, this is the one I started on, my first ever quadcopter. It isn't functional anymore, but I still have it. Anyways, so the three things you're gonna end up paying more for, or features a lot of people look for, are durability, speed, and does it have a camera. Um, this one has a camera. This one is quite zippy. It's not fast, but it is zippy. And this one is extremely durable because of its cage. Um, so this one, like I said, is the one I started on. It has a camera, very low resolution, not anything you're gonna use in a video. Uh, it retails for about $60 on Amazon. This one right here is one of the world's smallest quadcopters. It's zippy, it's portable, and it's just really fun to fly. But I wouldn't recommend it for your first quad ever because it isn't super intuitive, it su isn't super easy to fly. But it is fun, so it's probably a second step. Um, and a lot of people with these huge multi-rotors still have one of these because it's just something fun uh, to fly around your house. Um, and then lastly, we have what I would recommend as a perfect first quadcopter. Um, this is just a basic caged quad. Um, it's a simple quadcopter. It doesn't go too fast. The battery life isn't crazy. Nothing about it is insane, except for the fact it has a cage around it, which allows you to go into walls uh, without hurting it. It allows you to never hurt a propeller, never hurt the quad itself. It's almost indestructible, really. You can go up 50 feet and then just drop it and it'll be perfectly fine. I really love that feature. And you can feel safe giving this the remote to anyone to let them fly it and not be worried about them breaking it. It's really great. Um, like I said, this is what I would recommend for anyone who isn't super comfortable with RC in general and this is something totally new to them. Uh, this one is only about $40 on Amazon and I'll have the links to all three in the description below. Um, what I would also like to recommend on this topic is go to Fly and Ryan RC's channel. He does in-depth reviews on all the toy quadcopters and it's just a great place to learn about them and really get more information on this part of the beginning. Okay guys, the last thing I wanted to talk to you about in the video today was the basics of flying. More specifically, orientation. It's the one thing a lot of beginners can't grasp. It's the, also the one thing that really isn't intuitive about flying. Um, for example, right now, if I hit the forward stick, it means I wanna go forwards, which right now is straight towards the camera because the red propellers are forwards. However, if I decide to rotate the quadcopter like this, now if I hit the same thing I just did on the transmitter and decide to go forward again, it'll go this way, possibly running into something because I intended it to go this way. It's just something that you need to be aware of when you're first learning how to fly. Um, so I'd like to thank you for watching this video. I encourage you to go check out Flying Ryan RC's channel as well as watch some more of our videos. Uh, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, leave us a comment of what you think and if you have any questions, we'll be sure to answer them. And we're gonna leave you with this. Thanks for watching.